Hello, it's Easter Monday, the 5th of April, and for my breakfast this morning, I've got my healthy extra B, which is an Aldi wholemeal roll, some ham, which is free in protein, an egg, which is also free in protein, and a coffee using some of my healthy extra A milk. Dinner today is a tuna and sweet corn salad. I haven't got any dressing with the tuna, but I have got one and a half sins in total for the whole salad that I made of lighter than light mayo. And I'm going to count one and a half sins now. And then when I have some more salad later, I won't count anything for it because it's all counted already. Tuna is free in protein, sweet corn is free, and the salad is all speed. So this is banana bread that Tasha has made and this is the second loaf because yesterday Megan made one and I had to contend with myself and not eat that all day yesterday. So you can probably tell which one is mine and which one is Jeff's. Mine is the very thin slice and I am going to say 10, 10, I was going to say 10 slices. I wish I could have 10 slices. And a coffee using some of my healthy extra A milk. Tea tonight is the creamy Cajun pasta with some of the salad that I had for my dinner. So I'm not counting any sins for the salad. The Cajun pasta, the pasta obviously is free. I've got chicken, which is free in protein. And then I've used um, soft cheese, which is for the whole tub, 16 sins. And this works out for the amount of portions I've got, one and a half sins per person. And I nearly forgot to mention my sugar-free squash. For snacks tonight, I've got one of the Strawberry Harley's Jelly sugar-free ones for half a sin, an Easy Peeler, which is Speed, a banana, which is free, and a coffee using some of my Healthy Extra A milk. So I'm ending today, Easter Monday, on 13 and a half cents. And I've got to be totally honest with you, it has taken all of my strength to not go and have some chocolate, to not go and have some hot cross buns, and I really, really wanted them today. I'm just having a really, really hungry few days. And you know what they are like. And I wouldn't be doing myself any favours because I obviously went way over sins on the weekend. And I've really had to stop myself today. I've, um, I've had, well, I've kept my snacks as low as I possibly can. But I really want to just eat all the food today. But I'm not going to do it. Not going to do it. At the moment, I'm really not feeling. I've got my um, my coffee to have. I've got some fruit. I've eaten the jelly already because I've got a really sore throat. It felt like when I was going, because I've been to Tesco today just to pick up some bits and pieces and that will do. And when I was going to the shops, it just felt like I had something stuck in my throat. But as time has gone on, it's just getting worse. But not, I don't feel ill. I feel absolutely fine. But um, yeah, it just feels like there's something stuck right there. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just poking myself in, in the throat. So yes, so tomorrow, because I've already made one for Jeff, he had the, um, these are the rhubarb and custard hot cross buns, and there's still four in the pack, look. And he had, I put them in a bag because, and there's still three, one, two, three, just to show you. There's one missing where Jeff has had his. <laughs> Just so you know, I'm not telling porkies, but I want to have mine tomorrow. So he's had the, um, what did I say flavour? Honeycomb. Didn't have anything left in Tesco's. because there was like a, a slop for salted caramel ones, which I really fancy, but they didn't have anything there. So when I went to Aldi, the only ones they had were the, the rhubarb and custard and these ones, the, the honeycomb, not fudge, honeycomb. So I'm going to have the honeycomb tomorrow and they are really high in sins, but do you know what? I'm going to plan for it. I'm going to plan all my snacks out later and there's lots of um, of the chicken, the Cajun chicken left. So I'm going to pop that into the fridge and I think I'll be eating that for days now because, well, I made it for all of us. Jack ended up having plain pasta. Maya ended up having two mouthfuls and said, I'm really sorry, I can't eat it. I think I've overdone it with the fajita seasoning and now she can't face it. So she hasn't had any tea and the veggies just had some um, cheesy ravioli. So I've got three tubs of the fajita pasta. What is it, no, fajita, Cajun pasta, whatever it is. But it's really nice, I like it. So I'll be definitely out of my dinner tomorrow or my tea or something. But I think that'll be coming off the, the menu for the next couple of months probably, if I haven't put them off it for life. We will see. Anybody else has kids like that? Mine are. It never used to be. And Maya will eat the same thing over and over. She'd live on bagels with chicken or packet noodles. 
but make it something nice that I actually felt like I'm making an effort for because I feel as well at the moment that I haven't spent an awful lot of time doing things in the kitchen, making things from scratch like I usually do. And I think that's why I'm just feeling a bit, not, that's not the reason I'm feeling hungry, obviously. I'm just feeling like I want to eat all the food. Maybe it's because I'm surrounded by Easter things and all the goodies that are around at the moment and I'm just wanting to eat everything. I don't know. I don't know why. I just am. But I'm not going to. I'm going to try not to. So I'm going to go in there, have my coffee. I'm rambling a lot tonight. I'm really sorry. But I just wanted to share with you that, yeah, that's, that's my thoughts. And I think that's the way we, you know, that's what we got to do, isn't it? To share our thoughts. So I'm ending today on 13 and a half sins. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow.